Uh, welcome to Gachiboli Stadium, where you're going to see some exciting matches in badminton. And the, the stadium is being slowly being filled up with the spectators. Seeing them here and supporting the players and encouraging them to perform better. We, we, were, we were had some very, very nice matches yesterday in the quarterfinals. And now we are on to a semi-final stage here. And, uh, as, as we go along in court number one, you on your screens would be a mixed doubles, which is going to start sorry, as just now, then a men's singles, then a women's singles, and followed by men's doubles, and followed by men's singles, and then again women's doubles, and followed by the seventh match on your screen would be a mixed doubles. These are the seven matches broadcasted to you on your channels in different parts of Asia. I'm sure you'll, you're looking forward to enjoying this uh, grand badminton competition. And I wish you all the best and welcome you to this channel. Thank you. To give you the brief uh, statistics about the mixed doubles combination of China, Han Bing He and uh, Yang Yu. They are currently ranked number five in the world. And uh, they have performed admirably well in this year, including uh, the title and uh, the championship, world championship in 2006, where they were the semi finalists and the Philippines Open where they won the tournament in 2006, Asian Championship in 2005, Yonex Open Japan tournament in 2005, and in the year 2008, they were the quarter-finalists in the Korea Super Series Championships. Also, the semi-finalists in uh, Proton Malaysia Open Super Series Championships in Malaysia, and uh, runners-up in China Open Super Series tournament semi-finalists in the Denmark Super Series tournament. So they have been playing all throughout this last three years as a combination and have performed admirably well. They are one of the medal in the forthcoming Olympic Games in Beijing. They are ranked number five and as the match begins it is Yang Yu who serves against the Poland combination. And love. Poland is represented by Robert Metsuyak and Nadisa Potsitik. Poland's players have improved over the last one year or so. Their rankings have improved. And uh, on their way to the semi-final stage. They have defeated some good combinations, uh, like first they beat the Japanese combination of Otsuka and Setsuna at 21-17, 21-12 in the first round. And then they beat uh, Hung Ling Chen and Xia Ching Chao of uh, Chinese Taipei in three games at 18-21, 21-15, and 21-17, which is a very closely contested match. Four love. But at this moment, Poland is down four love. Yang Lu serving. To Nadisa. trying to control the rally from the rear court. And this time a push by Robert is out on sideline. Five and the score is five out. Po I did pull and pair Robert and Nadiza yet to settle down. Uh, meantime, the Chinese pair takes a 5-0 lead. Uh, Yang so That's the first point scored by the Poland. As uh, 
Ten bins, net of days return. Again, a mistake by Yang Fu, Yang, Yang Yu, and uh, there's a two, five. Have yet the pairs, both the both the oh. opponents have yet to settle to the pace, and they are trying each other and finding out as to which other areas which they must penetrate. In the meantime, China leading 6-2. The score is 6-2. And uh, Han Bing Hu serving to Robert from the right foot. And Robert pushes the shuttle on the backhand. And it's 3 6. Nadiza. Very hard smash hit by Han Min B. Nadiza gave a weak return at the net, which was promptly finished by Anbin's partner, Yang Yu. Score is 7-3. The Poland team is being coached by Mr. Kim, who is a coach from Korea. He has been appointed as a coach for the Polish team since last one year. And definitely under his guidance, the Polish players have done reasonably well. This time, a good duel between both the combinations. And again, a good attacking stroke by Han Bin He has made the difference. He has been attacking well, jumping and attacking well. Doesn't let any opportunity of attack go away. And... Uh, Another observation that I can make at this stage is his smashes have been very penetrative and very steep directionally downwards so that the defense of the opposition is fear. I'm a good lift. Anbin misjudges the shuttle on his forehand as Robert blocks the shuttle from his overhead and Anbin thought it would go out but it fell right. 4-8. Robert, Robert serving at 4 8. Right. And the return of Yang Yu was out on the sideline. Well, uh, Mr. Mr. Srikant, I believe uh, we have not yet been able to see the distinction that uh, in both mixed doubles because the I think we have yet to settle down. I, I think you're right because I feel the Poland pair still has to get the rhythm, whereas the Chinese players are attacking very well. Particularly, Han Bing He, whenever he gets the shuttle slightly in the backboard, he's hitting very good penetrative hard smashes, and that is making all the difference. So normally, normally the English or the European players are known to be much more dynamic and more powerful. That's right. And we attacking, and nicely intercepted by the Nadija. Intercepted nicely on the net, and scores a point. I think this in this particular rally they were able to convert the defense into the last attacking push, and ultimately they got the point. Give you the little background and uh, record uh, of, the, of the Polish combination as they are slowly gearing up, reducing the lead. It's only a single point difference between the two pairs now, eight, nine, and Poland is coming back into the game. They have won uh, two tournaments this year, uh, 
uh, or rather in 2007, the Russian Open and the Polish Championship, their home tournament, the Polish combination of uh, Robert Matsuyak and uh, Nadiza. And uh, in the in the Yonex Korea Super Series, however, they lost early. Score is 10-9 in China's favor. Yangzhou serving from China. A good tap and uh, it was nice return by Robert. And the return of Nadiza was intercepted in that and nicely put down by Yang Yu of China. And the first break point they break they are having China leading 11-9. Polish combination after conceding a big lead in the initial stages have done slightly better <laughs> first half of the game and uh, they are now trailing by two points coaches Mr. Kim and the Chinese coach the lady coach have gone up to the players giving them a piece of advice Polish pair has uh, charitable victories from April 2007 to 3208. They won uh, German Open, UNX German Open in February 2008. They won the UNX Korea Super Series 2008 in January. Then they have the uh, runners up in the Proton Malaysian Open Super Series 2008. They were also have a, to their credit, is the uh, Winners of Wilson Swiss Open Super Series, and they have also won the Yonex German Open 2007 semi finals. Sorry, and there were the semi finals in that. So they do have a very credible background for playing well. I'm sure they will shock the Indian And that's one point being scored by the nice set of the net by the Robert and the Score is 10 12. Stan Yang Yu push the shuttle on the opponent's forehand. And uh, it is the presence of uh, Yang, Lu, Yang Yu, which is uh, from the forecourt, which is making a major difference between the two pairs. As she has been pushing the shuttle hard, anticipating the shuttle well. Reaching for the shuttle early and trying to make finishing strokes and put pressure on the opposition. 14-10. Hanbi serving to Robert. A very well controlled service. With the flick of his wrist, he beats the opponent who was anticipating a service near the tee. And uh, had to be contained in only seeing the shuttle fall down on the sideline in correct position. An outright point what we call in the tennis, in the game of tennis is ace service. This time, today we have uh, the expo members of the badminton in India. All those from the different states of units, the sexes and presidents are here. And that will be very exciting. Yes, the motivation. 12 15. Nadiza, serving. And Yangu attacks the service very well. And this time, an unforced error by Robert. Perhaps misjudging the shuttle. Probably the glare of. The light from the top, 16-12 in favor of China, the first game. So for wow. one thing I've noticed is that, uh, like yesterday, there were a lot of uh, 
That's right. Yeah. Perhaps they have tasted the shuttles, I don't know. Yeah, but I think whenever you try to play flatter push from the beach court or court court, I think the shuttle tends to go out. But if you lift high, perhaps the chances. So the players have to learn to control this. Because these are the conditions in the under which they have to play and they have to perform. So they must get adjusted to the conditions of the hall, of the shuttlecock. And even now, we have, since they have been playing for the last four days, then also they must be used to it now. That's right. Yeah. Robert serving to Yang. A low serve, pushed to the mid court. A clear higher, but then uh, handling has tried to snap, but it was not powerful enough. And now he smashes powerfully on to Nadija. Poland scores a point. Hanbin, he has been hitting quite hard and he has a lot of variety in his attack. Oh, he's wearing his smashes. Also wearing his smashes, the direction and at the same time, sometimes he hits very steep, sometimes a little flatter. And that's why he's able to get many points on his attacking strokes. This time, Yang, you tried to beat Nadiza with a clear the shuttle went out in the baseline. Three was serving. Yes. And then Travis was shot, touched the net, and go across. And that fetches a point for this time. We are leaving now 19-40. This time another mistake there by the Poland combination and first game point for the Chinese combination. So far they have been establishing their supremacy in this particular game. Have been leading throughout almost and controlling the shuttle well. This time another deceptive look from Anbin and he has wrapped up this game because of the weak return from the Polish combination. At uh, 21 14. What game China was combination has been uh, superior, Mr. Puri. Yeah, but you know, they have not been tested as yet. The opening opposition was not as effective. That sparkle, that speed, and the power was missing. And they have a few, they have done incredibly well in the previous Super Series. They participated since 2007. So both the combination change the sides of the court and uh, get ready to to resume play after a two-minute break. Uh, I think the Korean coach, Mr. Kim, who's looking after the Polish team, or the he's been training in Poland. Will be giving them good hits, and the direction he was showing it shows that he is asking them to make be more offensive. On the other court, uh, the other semi-finals of the mixed doubles is in progress, and uh, it's being played between the German combination of Christoph Hoff and Brigitte Overzir, who are playing against the Chinese Thank Taipei you. combination of Fang Ching Mi and Wait. Chen Wen Hing. This match is also expected to go to a full distance. And uh, the second game begins. Again, an excellent attacking stroke there by Han Bin He. He attacked very well. And a weaker return was uh, dispatched by Yang Yu. One love, they have begun well. This 
time. A tactical error there by Yang Yu. Actually, they were attacking well. And suddenly from the net, she lifted the shuttle, giving opportunity for Robert to hit. And lost the advantage that they had got while attacking. This time a push from Robert goes out on the sideline. Service over. Two, one. And it's 2-1 in China's favor. The Indian interest in this tournament has been now restricted to the men's singles semi-final match between Chetan Anand and Andrew Simons. Andrew Smith, sorry. And uh, I'm sure a lot of spectators would walk in today to witness that all important match from Indian point of view. Even though the crowd in Hyderabad has been extremely knowledgeable, they know the finer points of the game, they appreciate the players, whether it is from any country, China, Indonesia, Europe, or Korea. And uh, they are really getting the feast of badminton here for the last three days. Three, two. It's 3-2. Three, two. Shuttle being changed, Yang Yu to serve. To Robert. A net flick by Robert, but Yang Yu was not beaten. She retrieved well and returned the shuttle to get one more important point. This time a flick service by Yang Yu, and followed by a good smash. Five, two. And been intercepted that and anticipated the return up of the flick serve and forced him to put it down. Then a small service this time, King and serve. Edwin and Yang Yu covered each other very nicely in this rally and were not hidden in any way, not caught in the wrong foot at all. And then finally, succeeded in getting a negative point. The first error, unforced error for one part of the robot. This time an unforced error Service over. by Han Bin. Three, six. I think he jump, jumped a bit early and that's why he this time got shot. Three, six. Robert to Han Bin. Robert attacked well and good push there by Nadiza. Cut on the wrong foot, Han Bin. Rushing towards the Four, forehand corner. And ultimately put the shuttle out in sideline. Robert. And Han Bin attacked well. Service over. 7-4. Seven, 7-4. Four. Seven, four. Cleaned. Players get a breather, discuss with each other the two partners. Players are back now. From the left court, Nadiza pushes the shuttle. 
trying to attack well. China is on defense, but they are trying to convert that defense into attack. Would not succeed as good down the line push by Nadiza. Again on the forehand of Hanbin for an outright point. The lead has been reduced to 5-7 now. But dribbled well, but uh, went out on sideline. Once again, Anbin pushed the shuttle harder. First stroke, downward push on the lady partner. Followed it up with a good attacking push. What's called as a tap from the net to finish the rally. And Anbin lifts, pushes the opponent, particularly the lady opponent to the baseline. time Robert countered well and uh, Six, once nine. again Hanbin is caught on the deep forehand 6-9 Robert serving to Hanbin match for the players. Thank you. Players. In yesterday's match, Robert Matsuk and Nadiza defeated Singapore combination of Yuji Ali. And uh, Hendrik Kornewan. Six, nine. Play. They were the fifth seed competition. In uh, straight sets, 21-14 and 22-20. Uh, to take the initiative of the rally. Coming forward towards the net and controlling the shuttle. And a flat push by Robert goes out on baseline. It's 10-7. First half of the second game is dominated by China as they break in for a score of 11-7. And the match looks like going in China's favor. They have uh, lost the Polish pair, have lost the first game, and trailing 7-11 in the second. And unless they really charge up, it's going to be a tough time for them. 
to win this match. The match of mixed doubles will be followed up by the first men's single semi-finals between uh, Bunsak Ponsana of Thailand who will play against Sho Sasaki of uh, Japan in the first semi-finals of the evening in men's singles. Han been serving to Robert from the left court, 11-7. This time again, Han Bin He takes the initiative, pushes himself down, hits harder, and takes away another important point. This time, Han Bin pushed the shuttle from the forehand, which went out on baseline. Nadeja attack well on Yang Yu. The combination skill of the Chinese combination has been superior. They move well. Both the partners have a better understanding. Han Bin Ti has been moving well, putting the pressure on the opponents by keeping the shuttle down, make them guess as to where is he going to push the shuttle. And this time a tactical error there by Anvin, but uh, to his good luck, Robert hit the shuttle in the net. Anbin's push has gone out. Another good luck there by for, for Poland as the shuttle stopped at the net and then fell in the opponent's territory. This is some of the impossible shuttles that can be returned. And here's a fault called for the receiver. And uh, Probably the fault uh, from the body language of the chair umpire I can make out is he might have moved before the shuttle was delivered for service by the server. And in such case, it's called a fault. This time, another good shot by Han Bin He. He's really smashing well. Putting the opposition under pressure particularly the lady opponent. And uh, breaking through her defense. This time, China was on defense. They have soon converted the defense into attack. And, uh, Han Bin Yi, who once again took the attack in his hands and pushed the shuttle down hard. Play. To take the lead to 16 12. Han Bin 
through Robert. I mean, excellent judgment there by Yang Yu. She was on the baseline and in a position to play the shuttle, but judged it quite early. Left it alone. I'm sorry, I didn't and uh, chair umpire is referring to the line judge. The confirmation of the signal that he gave that the shuttle was has fallen out. Yang Yu to Nadiza. And this time the shuttle is again hit out on baseline. and defensive stroke there by Anbin who the shuttle is attacked well by Robert on the backhand of Anbin P and he lifted it across and then Waller tried to follow it on the forehand before that Robert made another mistake 18-13 the match seems to be going in favor of China Anbin Yu Anbin P and Yang Yu one of the top combinations of mixed doubles in the world badminton circuit today. Service over, 14-18. One more unforced error there by Anjin Hee. 15-18. Shuttle is being changed. 18. This time, he once again judges the shuttle bell. As discussed or pointed out some time back, you know, whenever the shuttle is pushed flatter, there's more possibility of it going out unless it's lifted clean up in the upward direction. But anything flatter in defense or in pushing is likely to go out. The aircon in the stadium is being put off. This is generally done before the matches will start. They start it about two or three hours before the schedule begins. Allow the hall to get the cool air, bring down the temperature, and uh, then close it down before the tournament begins. Because the air current or the air draft due to air conditioner in these halls can affect the speed and direction of the shuttles thereby complaints can come from player section that we don't want AC aircon and that's the match point for China 2016 in, in a very fairly one sided match so far on bin he to receive from robert 1720 this time one more mistake there by on bin he 
and it is 1820. Yang Yu tells her partner to be alert, not to relax at this stage. Take the last important point and finish off the match. And this time she makes another mistake. Take the score to 1920. And the match has suddenly become closer. Lead and now it's become a close affair again. 1920, Robert serving to Anbin He. Oh, and this time Yang Yu pushes the shuttle from the forehand to the deep corner and uh, wrapping up the match at 21 19. So the Chinese combination of Han Bin He and Yang Yu have entered the finals of this Yonix Sunrise Indian Open Gold Grand Prix 2008 badminton tournament being held in Gachi Bali Stadium in Hyderabad, India. And now we take on to the next match of the evening on this court. That's uh, men's singles match between Bunsak Bonsana of Thailand, who will play against Sho Sasaki of Japan. Bonsana Bonsak from Thailand. Is ranked world number 13. He has been an outstanding caliber player. One of the confirmed entries for the Olympics. And you can see Mr. Varma, the president of the Indian BA, sitting with the ex co members of the Indian BA watching the proceedings of the evening. And uh, while the officials take a look at the match, we take a look at the statistics of Budsak Onsana. He lost early in the Yonex Hollingland Championship, Yonex Korea Open Super Series where they, where the player lost to their, his respective opponents in the first round, but has shown excellent results in some of his earlier matches where he was a winner in the Thailand Open 2004, Asian Satellite 2003, Myanmar Internet in 1999, and uh, SCG Thailand Open Grand Prix Gold 2007 where Bonsana Bonsak was the runners-up in men's singles. Players and the line judges and the players for the next match are getting lined up. And uh, Bonsana Bonsak will take on Chung Han Wong. Sorry, beg your pardon. We'll take on to Sasaki of Japan. Sasaki from uh, Japan. He's another strong co co competitor in this field of men's singles.
show Sasaki from Japan defeated Guru Sai Dutt of India, the upcoming youngster in three sets at 21-18, 22-24 and 21-16. Very well contested in a very close match. A very well fought match for the Indian youngster who got an excellent experience. Sasaki then went on to beat another Indian in the fray that is P. Kashyap at 21, 9, 18, 21 and 21, 12. And uh, then he defeated Sung Wan Park of uh, Korea who is a seat number four in 21-17 uh, and 21-16 straight games match <laughs> victory. And uh, the players and the uh, umpires, the line judges are still lined up, waiting to come to the court to start the next match. <laughs> As the match uh, has been formally announced by